I think it's really cute. Kiss it on your bum and I'll kiss it on your bum with it. You don't like it? So scratch what I said. I could totally see us using that name. Just say the cookie. Somebody stopped by with dinner. So nice. and welcome to my channel. I'm Sierra. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you would like more content like this. I love doing these baby name videos. I've actually only done one before, so I'm really excited to do another one. But I have so, so, so many names. If you haven't caught up on our videos, um, this is Lottie. <laughs> Go check out our birth vlog and the other videos we have with her in it and my birth story and her first few days and all of those. So I think that today I'm going to do... Um, more girl names since I have so many. These will be 10 more girl names that I love but won't be using um, for whatever reason that they just don't fully fit our like the vibe we have for our family or they just aren't exactly what we're wanting. I mean we're not pregnant right now obviously we just had our fourth girl but I would assume I would I hope we have more girls in the future. Hi one second. But these are names that we won't be using but are still super super cute. So the first name that I want to share is Ingrid. I served a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Norway and Ingri is how you say it in Norwegian and I love it in Norwegian so 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 much. I think Ingri is such a beautiful name. I think Ingrid is really pretty but Ingri in Norwegian I just love it but obviously we're in America or I'm in America and that's not how we say it here. But Ingrid is really beautiful. I actually, I shouldn't have said we won't be using these because I could totally see us using the name Ingrid. For baby May, Greta, Ren, Lottie and Ingrid. I could totally see that. So scratch what I said. I could totally see us using that name. I love that. I love the name Ingrid. It's so different. I think it might be becoming more popular, but hi, come sit down. But I don't ever see it becoming like, like an Ashley or Jessica being that popular of a name. Anyways, I love the name Ingrid. The next name is Demi. And I think this, I've seen this name rising up a little bit. I've heard it more, but it's so cute, so simple. I love the two syllables in it, and I think that, and I think it's cute with the name ending in E. Obviously, we have Lottie, and so um, that's kind of like the feel that I was looking for. And so I think that Demi is really, really cute. Um, D names are so adorable too, and it's kind of like already a nickname. That's, and I really love that about names when they're already the nickname. That's like what the name is. It's not that their name has to be longer. It's just that their name is that. And so I think that Demi is really cute and still pretty. Um, uncommon but not too uncommon where people can't spell it or say it. The next name is Prim and Primrose is rising I think but Prim on its own, um, I don't know if it's rising as much. I think that's such a beautiful one syllable name. Um, you know we think of Primrose on um, the Hunger Games but Prim is just and I think that it, her, I think that Katniss calls her Prim on there but I think it's so beautiful it's so classy and so elegant of a name and um I love one syllable names we have May and Ren and then Greta and Lottie are both two syllable names but May and Ren are both one syllable and I just think they're so classy and just so timeless and so Prim I think is a really good um option if you're looking for a one syllable name the next name is Reverie and I think I saw this on SJ Strum's YouTube. She has um, baby names, a baby names YouTube channel and an Instagram. She's really great. I really love following her. But Reverie, I think, is so beautiful. I think it'd be kind of hard for a little kid to say Reverie, if, especially if they couldn't say their R's. Um, but I think it's so beautiful. I love the V in the name. And then with the two R's, it's just so classy. And for it being such a long name, I like how elegant it sounds and how beautiful. It kind of sounds like the word reverent, which makes it very, um, like, uh, kind of like a sacred type of a name, Reverie, kind of sounds, I don't know, it just sounds beautiful and simple, yet has multiple um, syllables if that's what you're looking for. The next name on my list is Bindi, and how cute is that name, Bindi? I hadn't heard it too much. I have actually, I don't know anyone like personally named Bindi, but I think it's so, it's pretty different. I, I don't know, in America at least, we don't really have many people I don't know many people named Bindi. I don't know anyone named Bindi. What am I saying? But B-I-N-D-I. -I, I think that's so simple. Indy is becoming more popular and obviously Mindy is a name that is has been popular over the years. But Bindi I think is cool, kind of a trendy name, kind of like Oakley. Um, I don't know if we would go for that name, having it be so like kind of like a cool name instead of like a flowery name. I really like girly, bouncy, flowery, girly names. But um, Bindi I think is pretty cool. Talking about flowery names, the next name I have on here is Tulip. And 
I think that's a little bit far-fetched for where we are going with our baby names, but we were watching Storks. May loves Storks now, and the girl's name is Tulip in it, and I think that's so cute. Can you imagine a little toddler girl name being named Tulip, or even an adult Tulip? I think it's a beautiful name. Obviously, the flower is beautiful, but I think the name, if you are brave enough to go with something kind of edgy, not edgy because it's so flowery and beautiful, but edgy as in there's probably going to be people, I mean, I... People have so many opinions, but if you love that name, go for it. I think that Tulip is a really beautiful flower name that is not used. I mean, Daisy is used a lot, and Rose is obviously used a ton, but Tulip. I don't know. What do you guys think of that name? The next name we totally would have used if we didn't have Greta, <laughs> and the name is Etta, E-T-T-A, and obviously we can't use that. We can't have Greta and Etta, but I think the Etta is so beautiful, E-T-T-A, so two T's in the name with two vowels. I just think that's so beautifully written and so um, easy. People can easily say the name and it's not, but it's still so unique and not used that much that I just think it's so beautiful. I mean, yeah, if we hadn't named Greta, Greta, then we, then I feel like we might have, we even thought of naming her Meta, which is also beautiful, but Etta, I think that's so um, classy and simple. The next name, if you watch my last um, baby names video, you'll see that we had, um, um, just say the cookie, somebody stopped by with dinner, it was so nice. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you watched my last baby names video, then you saw that I love the name Lo, L-O. So this one's really similar, it's Clo, and I actually don't think I've actually heard that name before. I think I kind of made it up. It's, I mean, I think that people named Chloe sometimes go, their friends or family call them Clo. C-H-L-O. And I think that's so cute. I think Chloe is really cute, but it's also super popular. But Clo, what do you guys think of the name Clo? And would people pronounce it Clo if it was C-H-L-O? Or would they have a hard time like saying Chlo? Because with Chloe, people don't say Chloe. <laughs> you know, they say Chloe. But I wonder with C-H-L-O. I think people would say Clo. Do you guys like that name? I think it's really cute. I love one syllable names, and so I think that's a really adorable name. The next name is Sunday, and we, it's kind of like, um, I don't know if you've heard of people named like September or, I mean, we obviously have May. May I don't think is really as much in that category, M-A-E, but um, because May is like a pretty, not M-A-E as much, but M-A-Y is like a pretty popular um, like name. So it's not as much like categorized into, okay, yeah, your name is May. Oh, it's a month of the year. Do you know what I'm saying? Like September or January are, but I think those are really cute names. So going back to Sunday, I think that that kind of fits that same category. What do you guys think of the name Sunday? I think it's really cute. Um, I can just imagine a cute little girl and even an adult like businesswoman being named Sunday. I think it might be a little far-fetched for me to use the name for a baby, but I think it's really classy and cute. Um, and obviously everyone knows the name Sunday, like how to say it, so it'd be easy to say, but still unique. So yeah, the name Sunday, I think that's, that's a cute name. Okay, and the last name that I have written down is Lake. And I also have slash Laken. I think those are both really cute names. I think I like Lake better as like a single syllable. Um, Blake is kind of popular for, obviously for a boy, but also for girls, you know, like Blake Lively, but Lake is really cute and um, classy and elegant. Lakin is also really pretty. I like that it ends with an E-N. I think that makes it even more like pretty. And Lake is kind of like fun and classy and then Lakin is kind of like pretty and elegant. But yeah, the name Lake or Lakin, those are really beautiful. I don't think that we would use those names again. They're just a little bit not exactly what we are looking for, for Lottie or for other girls. But yeah, I think Lake or Lakin are good choices if you're, yeah, you're the doggy. Okay, you wanna go see? Go look, okay? are really pretty names that are unique enough that you wouldn't have another person named that in your class, but also easy enough to spell that people would um, spell and say that people wouldn't have an issue with that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It's so fun to do these baby name videos. Um, if there are any types of videos that you want me to do more of, let me know, or if you are wanting me to do baby boy names, let me know. I have some um, that I could share with you guys. I don't have as many because I've never had a boy and so I haven't had as much of like a pull to figure out boy names. But if you're interested in that, let me know. Again, don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.